Hey guys, welcome to BalsaCircle.com where we do decorations for weddings and special events. And let's dim the lights and put the spotlight on our Oscar winning hostess. Yes, we're talking about you because you're an amazing spread that we're gonna help you put together for all your friends and family and beautiful guests. So here for the centerpiece of our Oscar party, we're gonna need a martini vase centerpiece, large feather boas, some stars, and so much more. But we've got you covered, let's just get started. So here we are starting on our centerpiece this one portion that is very important of course it's gonna be a star studded event so yes what is more fitting than a gold star we just sprayed it with some gold spray paint and put some Mod Podge with this brush it's kind of like a foam brush which worked out really well because the edges are beautiful they're nice and straight and this just made it go way quicker, so I'd recommend getting one of these. So you're just gonna be doing glitter on each of the edges of the star or points of the star. We didn't wanna do it across the entire star because we have so many sequins and diamonds and glitz and glam going on. We just wanted a little pop of glitz here just to pull the whole look together. So there you go, voila, that portion is done and we can move on to the next part of this whole look. So here we're just using some diamond mesh and here is the center um, stem of the huge martini glass that we have. Make sure all these things, you can just check in the description below and um, find the links and you'll, you'll find them here. So this one's great for so many occasions. You could have this for any black tie event or like a flapper event or um, a wedding, whatever it is these are great for any of those occasions so we just cut it into the exact size that we needed and length and then put a really generous amount of the hot glue there make sure it's really flat and taut we don't want this to be wavy wrinkly uh, vase here or stem of our huge martini glass. You're probably gonna need some extra glue at the very end because we pull it really tight and um, we wanna make sure all the loose ends are, are brought together. So there you go, there's the stem and we're just gonna pop it on the base of our huge martini glass. I loved doing this part of the video, so fun. And this matches exactly. We just took a boa, snipped a little piece of it and brought it all the way around the base, really simple. So here is the top part of the martini glass. It's ginormous. <laughs> and um, we just put all of our uh, leftovers of our red boa, our black boa, and just mashed it all in there. It actually looks really nice when a little bit kind of falls out because it's, you know, a sign of serious partying here. <laughs> and um, we put some of our gold beads in here. So there you go. Once you place that star in there, the whole look comes together from the pearls to the diamond mesh and all the way to the feathers at the base. So with this, that centerpiece is so poignant in this whole look from our sequin backdrop and our other details. And speaking of the details, let's go on to our cocktail supplies. So you're gonna need a cocktail shaker, tape, scissors, and gold glitter for this. Here's one of them that you'd be receiving in the mail. This is perfect because you can bling this up or decorate it however you want, no matter if you're having, you know, I was gonna say a baby shower, that'd be kinda, I guess you could drink at a baby shower if you'd like. Um, a wedding, you know, uh, a wedding shower, whatever it may be, we're showing you that it's legit. It's got all of the measurements on there, so it's not just for looks. You can definitely make some fancy drinks in here. So here we're just taking some tape that's gonna go around the entire circumference of the bottom of the base. And just make sure you do a little fold so when you do peel it off, it's a lot easier. You're not trying to find the end here. And taking some Mod Podge again and put a nice generous amount on the bottom because we're really, really gonna put a dense amount of uh, glitter on the bottom. Just because we're not doing anything else to this shaker, so we wanted to make sure that it blended well with our whole Oscar party theme and had enough uh, glitter going on on the bottom there. So we just opened the actual bottle and put it in a plate there. That way you can just put huge, huge amounts and then the rest will fall in and you can just reuse it. So there you go, once you're done, you don't even have to wait until it's dry. We didn't wait until it was dry here. We just went, went ahead and pulled it right off. I mean, if you wanna be really careful, you can just wait until it dries and then pull off the tape, but this worked just as well for us. So as you can see, it's a really clean, uh, straight line there that works for this whole 
glamorous look that we're going for and voila it came out really nice and there you have it put one um, shaker in the middle to look glammy and then you can use the another one for the actual making of the drinks and there's your whole look you've got your chocolate covered strawberries you've got your red sequin runner this is our two and three quarters gold beaded candle holder centerpieces that are gorgeous they add really nice height we also have on our table our 16 inch gold beaded ball candle holders they all kind of match together and go really well with the sequin napkins all of it for our beautiful oscar party that your friends family and guests will absolutely just their jaws will drop if you found this helpful and i hope you did make sure you show us some love hit that like button and also subscribe make sure you comment below let us know who you think is going to win who is going to win at the end of this month who's the best actor who's the best actress we want to hear from you and we'll see you in the next video